welcome back. Today we are going to do uh, part 2 of new time signature grade 5. Um, before I start my video, again I request again to please watch my videos online. Don't download them as watching it online will gonna help me to grow my channel and when I get my help definitely I could I can help you guys more. So I again request you guys to please watch my videos online. Like Share, subscribe if you like the channel, if you like my content, please share it and if you have subscribed my channel, so please press the bell icon so you receive the <coughs> videos on time notification. So now without wasting your time, let's start the video. So in this one, we have to start, uh, give me one second, let me just check, okay. So. Add the time add the time signature to each bar uh, is marked within R26. The first four have been done for you. So what we have to do, we have to put the time signature under the sign artist given here. Okay, so four of them they have done. So now we have to do after that. So let's start. So this one is first. So we have one crotchet beat, two crotchet beat, three. 4 crochet beat so that means simple this is 4 4 time signature next we have 1 crochet beat 2 crochet beat 3 crochet beat that means it's simple 3 4 time signature next we have a 1 minimum which is equal to 2 crochet beat so because is we cannot write 1 2 so we have to write 2 4 that means 2 crochet beat in 1 bar which is equals to one minimum. Next is one, two, three. Crochet beat again this is three, four time signature. Uh, let's move ahead. Next we have one, two, so two crochet beat. Uh, this is one crochet beat. Then this is quiver, so two quiver makes one crochet beat and these to make one. So we have three crochet beats in total so time signature would be three four next we have one crochet and one quiver beat so <coughs> in total this is one and a half beats but we don't have any time signature for one and a half beats so we're going to divide this crotchet beat into two quiver that makes our one two and three quiver that makes three quiver in a bar so three eight is the time signature Next we have one quiver, one crotchet, one crotchet that makes in total two and a half beats. But we don't have any time signature like this. So we divide these quarter uh, crotchet beats into your two eight notes or quiver notes. So we have five. So that makes five eight is the time signature. Okay. Uh, next we have two again. So this is two. Four. Oh, I think this looks the same. So let's just copy them. I don't know if it's a misprint or what. Whose fault is it? To this, guys. I uh, this in this this part. Can you see this? Um, I don't know. If this is incomplete or complete. If it's something else in your uh, workbook, do let me know. You can share the PDF with me if you want to. And uh, if due to this, if there is any mistake, please forgive me. Uh, let's move ahead. Next, let's count this. This is a quiver. So one quiver we have. Two quiver. This is one crotchet and one quiver. That makes one and a half. And this one. So this two makes your one crotchet beat. These two makes your one crotchet beat. And this is the third one. So we have three, four. Okay, three crotchet beat in one beat. So here we have one, two, and one crotchet beat. This is two, two, four. Now this is a triplet. So this is the value is one quarter beat of this. One crotchet in the sense. <coughs> this is another quarter, two. So these two makes your one eighth note. And plus this eighth note makes your one crotchet. This quarter, this triplet again makes your one quiver and these two quiver makes one crotchet so in total you have one two three and four so this is four 
four time signature. Here we have uh, two main beads, three quarter each, uh, mean to say three crochet bead beads. So this is six four. This is a compound time signature. Let's move next. Next, you can see there is a <clears throat> one quarter note. So if I'm saying quarter or I say crochet, they both are same, okay? And uh, one crochet rest, so that makes two crochet in a bar. So this is one crochet, one crochet, one quiver, two and a half. So that means we have to divide this into two. So we divide these two, that makes five. So there are five, eight time signature. Then we have Okay, this is single beat here. I don't know if this is a misprint or what. So I think there should be a rest I read somewhere. So this is 2 4. If you have this in your notebook, in your workbook, do let me know please. And if it is like this, if it's a single, then it's wrong. Okay, it's a misprint. Next we have dotted minimum. Dotted minimum that means you have three crochet beat in it. And uh, the time value if you say three quarter, three crochet beat in. So that should be the time signature. Three, four. Okay. Simple time signature. Three, four. So next let's go. One, two, there's two crochet beats. Yeah. Ne okay. Next uh, we have, let's count this. This is uh, one crochet beat. This is one quiver and then we have three quivers one two three uh, so we then again this is three quiver three quiver that means but there's a break uh, you can see there's a break okay so this is not three four this is six eight there's a compound time signature because one is the main beat and then you count it okay Next, we see here this one quiver. This makes one quiver. Uh, sorry, one yeah quiver. And again, three quivers in a bar. So that means this is three eighth note. So remember that this is six eight and three eight. There's three only three eighth note in one bar. There are six here, but this is not three four side. Okay, remember that. Don't get confused over there. Next, we have. So in the new one, you can see there is one uh, whole note and one minimum note. So that makes our six crochet beats. And this again, so this is our three, two. Okay. Next, <clears throat> let's see. We have one eighth note. Then it's a triplet of this is again an eighth note. Again, an eighth note. Then there's a break and we have three eight notes. So that makes again six eight time signature. Okay. So I hope uh, you understood the concept of this video. If not, then do let me know. If you have any doubts, uh, I'll try to solve them. And again, please try to watch it online. And uh, don't download it and like, share and subscribe. Let me know if you want to have any specific video on this topic. Till then, see you in the next video. Till then, thanks.